Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniel Nangelo and I'm really excited to have you on board today. So today I'm going to show you how to link Kobo Toolbox form data to Google Sheets. So um, from time to time when we are working with our survey data, um, we will find that uh, we are in a place or in a position whereby we have a large team that is technically a working group uh, that will want to access this data. It can be your donor or it can still be you know, the stakeholders uh, for that particular uh, project. So um, one of the easiest way to share this data discreetly uh, without giving access um, of access to users uh, into your Kobo Toolbox server is to actually set up a downstream um, mechanism whereby the once um, form data is coming into your server that data is uh, automatically also published onto or uh, streamed onto google sheets now we are using google sheets because so far by so far google sheets is one of the most popular and not only that but also very powerful platform uh, for sharing data especially in collaboration environments so guys i'm really excited to show you this today so let's start so um the first thing that you are you are going to need is to have an existing Kobo Toolbox account. Uh, so uh, with me here, you can see I have a number of forms that are actually deployed and we actually have this that has um, some form of data. So um, what we are going to do now is we need to have an access uh, to the Kobo Toolbox API. So we are going to use the actually two kinds of APIs. We have API version 1 and API version 2. So to get access of this, you simply go to this link here. Uh, that is the Kobo. Let me just pull it here. Right. I'm also going to have it down on the link uh, below the video. So you come to this link here. Yes. So once you are here, you need to get um, access to your API. And if you just scroll down here, you are going to see we need to send data to Google Sheets. So we have here download data in. OK, they have used CSV format, but you can always um, just change this. So the next thing that you need um, This is in uh, still in data format. So, if you scroll down here a little bit under uh, here, you should be able to see that um, you have a list of API APIs, uh, right? So, so you need to look for your form, right? And uh, how do you, you can do maybe a quick search but this is the easiest way so first thing you need to come to your form so let's say if this was a form data here um, you access it eh? you access it then there's this text up here this text here this one is now the form a unique identifier for this particular form and we are going to use this form to actually locate its API on this so um, I simply do maybe a search and paste in there and you can see here it is so um, and this is the API that we are looking for so we pick this link this URL the way it is like this so I'll simply just also come back here and say do a paste here so you can see the API is like that so the next thing I need to do is um, to perform something right so I'm going to do 
actually I'm going to start with this equals then here we need to provide the file type right we need to provide the file type so you can still also just do it like this if you wanted um, like that you can still do csv if you want it in csv you can still do xls um, any other format that that you want so far i think this one is supported let me just uh, confirm um, from here Yes, even XLS, XLS, X, XML, all this API, JSON, and all this, all these are supported. So once we have that, um, what you are going to do is to go um, into your Google Sheets. Huh? So you are going to go into Google Sheets, but before you do that, you need to download one thing. Huh? It's called uh, the API um, the API connector right for Google Sheets and you're going to find it here the API connector so I'm going to have these links so that's our API connector Once you are here, you need to get this API connector uh, for your Google Sheets. It's actually an add-on, so um, it's for free. Just click on Get for free. Right? Yes. And then same. Okay, mine is already installed, so you should be um, should be able to see somewhere. Where it's going to say install once you install it's going to prompt you to give access uh, to the gmail account that is going to be having your google sheets right so you need to connect it you give it permissions then you are good to go so from here we can uh, simply go to our google sheets and access my own um, from this quick um, taskbar that is here so google sheets and then here uh, what we are going to do is to create a new google sheet so we're going to create a new google sheet by simply i'm going to do just go with the blank one so uh, from here i'm going to give it a title or a name so um, this data is coming from Kobo. So I say Kobo uh, to Google or to sheet uh, data. And oh, okay, um, uh, we usually recommend that it should be the name of your form. So. Let me just say Kobo data. Then I'm going to do Kobo. Um, Kobo data. Then maybe an underscore. Then my form name. So it was um, Pene Fishery Form. Like that. So enter. Then once we are here, um, you can come. Um, you, you need to come here to extensions eh? once you're here on extensions you're going to see these options uh, for API connector so you're going to click on open so uh, this is going to pop up this window uh, this API connector and we need to set up an API connection uh, right so you click on create 
request so inside here um we need to we have this um under the create tab here so we need to set up here so we're going to do a cast uh, application is going to be custom we do not need to add anything but if you look inside here we have a number of plugins that have already been set up and you can always use them automatically without having to set up your own right so all these are the ones that are supported so just have a look Even I think we even have one for Kobo Toolbox that is already there. So um, for my case, I'm just going to say custom here. And then it's going to be get. Right? We have get, post, put, patch, delete. Right? So the one we are looking for is get. So under here, here. We are going to paste our URL. You remember this URL here? Um, I'm going to change this to JSON. Yes. Click it like that. And back to this. Under this request URL, I just paste it like that. Now, from here, I don't need to do to change anything. Eh? Yes, then from my destination sheet uh, here, I need to set up this. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is to say um, this sheet number. Uh, maybe let me rename it. Uh, let me just rename it. Uh, that can be something like, uh, let me just use the same name, Hobo Data. say this sheet here I'm going to come here and say set current and my data is going to start posting from this cell here right so I'm going to name this I'll say um this uh, this API what does it do this API is pulling data uh, Kobo it's pulling data from Kobo data and that is a, a beneficiary from fishery from like that then I'll say um we first save then run. right so you can see my data actually now it's here uh, so it has accept, actually successfully run so I'm able to see you know the various uh, fields inside the data uh-huh i can see the address i can see you know, the female you know, all this i'm able to see them eh? right so there it is like that yes so this is how you do it the next time you'll want to also you know update uh, just simply come to again here just come and say refresh all now like that and as new data is coming in it will keep updating this so from here you can do a number of things you can share this um, this link just by saying share hit share with others or publish to web so if you share with others it's going to give them a link to this form here and then you can also create dashboards here yes you can also create dashboards and also be able to share it with um, your colleagues or uh, with the end users right so that is it um, for me today let's meet in our next video tutorial i hope you learned i hope you learned something guys see you in my next video